What's up guys, this is Tony Hannity's with LazyTechGuys.com, best source on the net for your latest tech news and information. Today at Google I.O. Day 2, they announced a brand new application for iOS. Well, actually they announced two, Chrome and Google Drive. Chrome's not yet available, but Google Drive is. So you can go ahead and download it, it's free, it's easy to find, it's just under Google Drive. Um, but I want to demonstrate it on the iPad because um, first and foremost, one reason why I bought the iPad was because I want to be able to edit, edit and access my documents. And then I went ahead and bought Quick Office, which I still have somewhere. Anyway, anyway oh, there it is. Um, but Google bought Quick Office. So in my mind, I would think that you know they would somehow merge the two or use some of the features from Quick Office and use it into Google Drive. Let's go ahead and dive into that. Google Drive right now, once you sign in, it's going to show you very similarly to like Dropbox or SugarSync, all the files that you have. Uh, you can have different folders and you can name them. Uh, so first, first of all, here's the folder that I added today for this purpose of the demonstration. Um, next to it, uh, of all the different files you have, you can uh, star them. And so they'll show up in your starred folder or your starred select section. Uh, you can look at the recently looked at, recently downloaded um, files that you have in your Google Drive. And then finally, offline. Now this was a big announcement in that you can actually access offline documents, wherein that if you have no connection to a mobile network, uh, you'd still be able to see certain documents. And well, that's really about where the buck stops. Uh, we'll, we'll get back into that. But going back to the main drive here, um, let's kind of see like what other file types you can look at. So obviously, you can look at Word documents. You can look at spreadsheets. Zoom in, zoom out. You can look at pictures. Zoom in, zoom out. And finally, You can look at video. All right. Now, aside from the video, you'll notice all the other documents that I went into. Down here in the upper right hand corner, there's that famous arrow. Now, what this allows you to do is obviously share it. And when you click on that, you can share it and open it up into either Safari or open it up into iBooks, Quick Office, or some other apps that I have. Now, why is this important? Google Drive right now on iOS does not allow you to edit. And so what this really is at this moment in time is really just a read-only kind of uh access. So with that being said, if you were to open up this Jupyter report that my son did, you could then open it up in Safari if you don't have any of these other applications. And by opening it up in Safari, um, and then you could sign into it, then you have the edit ability on the web. So when you need to edit, you'll have to have some sort of online capability. That is one of the drawbacks right now. However, I mean, this is free. This is the first start of the app for iOS. So as a user, there are some complaints behind it. However, it is a, it is a step into getting, um, getting Google Drive into a more uh, massive audience.